when you're entering territory that's new for the church, it's understandable to be cautious. But the mindset that says you must not or you cannot go there into new territory where others in the church haven't spoken on this issue yet, that, that's the opposite of a leader. So you wrote on Facebook, you wrote, many pastors today are moral relativists when it comes to things like politics and culture, especially. It might not be on the the core theological topics, but it would be every time that you have to move from what the Bible says to some moral application that we're facing today, where perhaps you don't have precedent for it. So for example, there's nothing in the Bible that tells you what to do when somebody is a man that claims to be a woman. I mean, unless you want to go by the Old Testament passage that says, don't, don't cross dress. But there's, there's not a lot in there that says like, are you allowed to refer to them by the new name that they invented for themselves? Are you allowed to refer to them by the new personal pronoun? Like, what do you do in that situation? And it, it's real obvious if you know that God created them man and woman, that, that you refer to them the, the way God actually created them, because that's the truth of the situation. And you'd be lying about what God did. But a lot of pastors are not willing to go there. They're not willing to say, oh, well, we apply this in this way because they're stepping away from anything that they have precedent for. Well, guess what? Every day in the real world, you do, you do face unprecedented situations. And uh, so what happens is very often people, uh, you know, pastors will hear somebody take a position and they'll say, oh, no, no, you, you can't take a position on that. That's divisive. We have, a docu- we have an article at the website christianintellectual.com slash excommunicated talking about what happens when somebody takes a moral stand and says this is wrong and pastors say no no, no that's divisive you can't you're not allowed to say that it's because discernment was not the goal of these pastors and, and too often what they mean by div- divisive is that you are taking a strong position on something that others in the church haven't already taken a strong position on mm-hmm. and it's understandable that anyone might want to be cautious when you're entering territory that's new for the church. It's understandable to be cautious, but the mindset that says you must not, or you cannot go there into new territory where others in the church haven't spoken on this issue yet. That's the opposite of a leader, right? So if, if you want to be that type of Christian that doesn't, go into new territory. That's fine. Get out of the pulpit. Get out of the head of the ministry. Get out of the presidency of the seminary. Like get get the hell into the pew and sit down and let the people who want to actually lead lead the church. If if you want to follow what the great leaders of yesteryear did, that's great. Follow. Sit down. But if you want to lead, if you want to be a leader who helps the church navigate through contemporary controversies, things that are going on today, the devil's schemes today, then you've got to be willing to go into new territory where nobody before you has spoken on this issue. 